Guys, Shardness Prime here doing another G.I. Joe Classified Series action figure review on number 112. We are looking at the Hasbro Pulse exclusive G.I. Joe Clutch with Vamp multi-purpose attack vehicle. And I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked to have this. I've been catching up with my G.I. Joe books from Larry Hama, and I had just read an issue where we had Clutch and the Vamp right over here. Anyway, on the side, yeah, you can see Clutch right over there one of the original 13 and then on the back you can see all we get with the product over here and then some deco and decals throughout and then on this side it says 112 you get the whole qr code right over there you get your gi joe spot varnished star it says 112 not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and if you're trying to get your gi joe classified figures you can do so oh, big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below and here is clutch in the vamp on the rotating base thanks again budget stark i think i've had this rotating base since like 2016 or something like that uh but unfortunately yeah it's just not large enough uh, for it to hold the vamp while on the tires and plus it rolls around a lot which i will show off in just a minute but hey i had to show the 360 over here because this thing looks so damn sick I'm so satisfied already. I will complain about it. There are little things that I, I will complain about, but I'm mostly very much very happy with this. So let's get a closer look. <laughs> Just looking at the clutch head sculpt, and I gotta say, I really do like it. I'm really loving all these G.I. Joe figures, to be honest with you. Now, I'm not too knowledgeable about the G.I. Joe lore. I am reading the original Hama books still, and I am enjoying them, as oh, I mentioned earlier in this video. But yeah, this helmet looks really good. I do like it a lot. And you can see the hair sculpt over here looks very good as well. So I really like this. And I do recommend, you know, if you want to see a really good review of this set over here with a little bit more back story information and everything on clutch and everything uh, check out x Man 87's video he did a really good job talking about this stuff and he did a follow-up video about uh the caches uh, you know with the machine gun turrets and everything but man this helmet sculpt is really really cool i like the little scope thing right over there over the visor uh, i forgot the name of the plane that has the the shark teeth on there but yeah were those tomcats i i can't remember I don't remember but yeah i like this helmet it's very cool looking and everything but for the most part uh while it was fun you know taking pictures of him wearing this uh, i do prefer him wearing this whoop that's almost backwards the vest over here looks good i think there's a lot of reuse going on with this figure and i do have a complaint about this figure that i'm going to get into in a moment but i love the deco you get the pinless joints over here and yeah the paint apps look great us flag right there is that like a betty boop kind of thing not, but not really. Uh, he doesn't come with a ton of accessories for his person. Like, there's a lot of accessories that we could store on the vamp. But as far as uh, clutch over here, you just get this wrench that stores right over there, which is cool. Uh, but the flashlight's not removable or anything. The legs look pretty good. And the laces aren't painted or anything. But yeah, unfortunately with mine, uh, this leg came off right away. I have it back on there, so hopefully it doesn't come off again. Uh, but I, I'm tempted to ask for a replacement. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I am frustrated about that leg coming off like right when I got the figure. That bums me out. Oh yeah, he does have his sidearm right over here. And that looks pretty good. He also has his shotgun right over here, which I put in the passenger side seat. And this looks great. I don't know if it's reused from another figure or not. Might be. I have a lot of the classified figures. I should know better. But yeah, I, I like this. <laughs> And then here's looking at the vamp. I really love this thing. I do think it does cost a bit much. I'll get into that more later on in the video, but we have some nice uh, hollowed rubber tires right over here. So you can see I'm squishing inward on these tires and you can see the treads are slightly different from each other. I tried to make a match on the side that they're on. So the left side tires are the same and the right side tires are the same. Uh, we have these lights right over here with the translucent blue, which porting these on, uh, not so bad right over here. I feel like they pop off a little bit easier than I like. And then you could flip these up right here. You have a tow cable, which is pretty sweet. It's not 
super long. It's as long as you really need it to be. And then you could just move this. Oh, I just dropped those canisters. But yeah, you, you could go ahead and use this to travel it right back up. You can see we get some United States right over there with the star, some nice gunmetal gray right over here. Uh, you do have to plug in this shovel and this uh, case or whatever this is, and then this piece right here, you have to port that on there. You get caution written on here. And ooh, I didn't actually lift up the hood before, and I'm just realizing now that you could lift this up. Oh man, I hate discovering stuff during reviews, but hey, there you go. You can see the engine block inside right there. So that's pretty cool. And I gotta play match the shape and just put that right back over there. And then here's looking at the side, you can see we have some nice green for the hubcaps. You get some numbers on the side, your G.I. Joe Star 5647. I'm not familiar with what that means. And then on the inside, I did take some photos of this, but there's a whole bunch of decals and stickers on the inside right here. I like the tan color right here for the seats. That looks pretty sweet. You have this right here, which, oh, you can shift this forward and back, the tie, or the steering wheel actually rotates so that's very cool uh, you get these little uh, support handles you know to help you you know lift yourself up out of it or to hang on to the side if you want to fire at bad guys there is a little bit of a bluish hue right here to this front windshield which I really like and it has articulation so you can move it forward these pop off way easier than I'd like them to there's this little center notch right here and you're supposed to use that to help clip it on but I always just find these popping off way easier than I'd like so that's a little bit of a frustration but I love the translucent blue over there that looks so sick one thing i just didn't expect with this and i should have seen it coming but i love the actual rear view mirrors like that is so damn sick hey you can see yourself right can you see me I hope you could see me. Anyway, it says G.I. Joe on the side right here. I did take a picture of this. So if I enhance, 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 you could read that. Very, very tiny text right over here. And same thing right here to unlatch has the directions right there. There's a rear tire. Then here's the tail lights. It says United States and stand away and then you got the tow hitch right over here on the back which you could rotate side to side uh, it does come with a fire axe right over here and you could go ahead and put this right back on the back so that's pretty cool and i did drop these gas tanks wish they did have a little bit more of a way to plug into something instead of kind of just loosely rattling around back here you know what i mean they did fall out especially when i was playing with this on the couch which is terribly fun to do don't, don't make fun of me all right i like having fun with my toys now this thing does come with directions and you could see the cash right over there just kind of falling over and uh, I, I guess lenny did a video talking about this uh i'm with manny i, I try to you know save the unboxing for my own experience um even following his recommendation video and everything i i still have a hard time getting these to stay in place without them falling around uh, maybe it's because this piece right here has come off on me too many times but i do have the bullets facing the right way at least and at first i was kind of like you know uh, i thought oh maybe this handle should be on the outside and this one on the outside instead of both of them facing the same direction if it's a mass-produced gun that's just poured it on top here which is kind of what it is because you can remove these if you want so i guess it makes sense that you know they, they would face the same direction and you know they have the same number facing the same direction so i get it i just thought it would look cooler with having the handle facing outward right there but you have these you know i had rock and roll holding them and i thought it looked cool uh you do have some articulation right here it will move up and down and it will turn side to side uh, you do have a little fire extinguisher right here in case of emergency so i think that's good and we have some nice little details right here now the directions say that you're supposed to plug the caches in on the side right here i don't get that i feel like there's really something missing like something needs to be picked up picked off for those to really plug in so yeah it's just not happening that way and get this plugged in back over here and then you could go ahead and plug in effects right over here at the end of those so i think that's pretty cool and this will rotate right here Here's, let's check out the undercarriage whoa yeah uh oh see stuff falling all over the place not a whole lot to see underneath right there but one thing that stands out to me about this thing that really just kicks up the fun factor are the shocks man I really love this. Like just having these really good shocks over here just makes it really fun. It's just, I don't know. It just makes me want to go play with it on the couch again like you saw earlier. Ooh. 
<laughs> so low. But uh, I just think it's so cool. Uh, I really like this thing a lot. I guess I thought I had that closed. Oops. Oh, and of course, yeah, this rotates right here. You can get this kind of leaning up just that far, not too far, but it'll rotate side to side a lot. I'm gonna briefly go over the articulation. Uh, you can get clutch to move his head upward and downward. You have neck articulation in there and head articulation, so he has good pivoting. You get butterfly joints, shoulders move outward 90 degrees, full rotation bicep swivel, pinless double jointed elbows, the wrist turns side to side, and this one uh, churns vertically, and this one's the horizontal hinge. I'm trying to go with what the masses are saying here. And then you could churn side to side at the waist uh, you get some pivoting at the waist he can crunch forward a bit even though he has this vest right here and he will move back a whole bunch get the drop down hips i just want to see if i you know do an articulation segment if that leg pops off on me and so far it looks like it's staying okay i can get him to kick forward and it's not falling off on me it may just been a factory thing upper thigh cut double jointed knees uh, boot rotation ankles down up beautiful ankle pivot and the leg is still on there okay so yeah i may not need a replacement i should be all right now to measure out this clutch figure you can see that he is standing at about six and a half inches tall right there maybe a little bit less especially with the helmet on there taking the helmet off he's gonna fall over okay. yeah taking the helmet off you can see he's Definitely a little shorter than six and a half inches. And then measuring out the vamp right here to the top of the turret or the guns back there, it's around seven. Uh, to the top of this, I'm looking at around six inches. And then uh, from the front to back, it's about 13 inches across. And we're looking at about seven inches wide. Now for a quick size comparison for Clutch, here he is next to the remaining 13 original G.I. Joe figures that we have so far. And I think he fits in nicely. I also have Breaker over there with the motorcycle. And I just think this looks really, really awesome. I'm very stoked. Uh, so who do we need? Steeler, Grand slam flash short fuse and zap by the way i do have the new scarlet and duke on the way oh i'm so excited to get those and then here's clutch next to a valiverse series 4 figure we have blowback which i've been meaning to review along with the glow in the dark scarab figure but yeah i do like how these fit into scale together and I do like that camo. And then before comparing the vamp next to some other vehicles, I wanted to get Clutch inside here and just at least, you know, show how it works out with me getting the figures sitting inside here. Uh, one thing I did want to gripe about, and I do think it's actually pretty easy getting him in here, is I feel like the figure does sit a little high. Sometimes it looks like he's not looking through the windshield, but right now he totally is, so I feel dumb even bringing it up. And then this you can move anywhere you want. Don't have to have it all the way up there, by the way. You could scoot that back, but to me, it just makes more sense having this up towards the front right over there. And then here's our G.I. Joe Classified Vamp next to the G.I. Joe Classified Haslab His Tank. And seeing them side by side like this makes this look extra huge. And it's not as big as it looks from this angle. I pick up my camera here, get an overhead view. You can see, I mean, it still has some length over there, but as far as the sheer mass of the His Tank, it's just way larger. It is really cool having both of these. I gotta tell you, I did miss out on the Dragonfly. I don't know if anyone has an extra Dragonfly they're willing to sell or pre-order for a Dragonfly that they're willing to sell me. Let me know in the comment section below if you accidentally ordered two. <laughs> the likelihood of that is very slim, I understand, but eh, just mentioning it, just mentioning it. Well, you can see the width is kind of similar. I don't know, I feel like we are getting a lot over here, man. Then here's the Vamp next to the Bratz car and the McFarlane Toys Batmobile and you can see how it is shorter than both of these over here but there's just a lot more details going on with the vamp uh, you know each of these what well, the Bratz car went down to like 30 bucks at some point I think I paid 40 bucks for it uh, the Batmobile was 50 bucks this is a hundred bucks with the figure. So what, take off 25 bucks for the figure, 75 bucks for the vamp. Uh, when I look at it like that, it does feel like this is a little high. You know, it feels like it's kind of a lot, but at the same time, the functionality of it, all the little attentions to detail. And then here's the vamp with the snow speeder and was it Wedge or who, who was it? Dak, Dak, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, I think this is a very fair comparison. Uh, this snow speeder was 120 bucks when it first came out though. And I guess with inflation, it would be a lot more. So seeing the size difference right here for a Hasbro to Hasbro price point comparison, I don't know how much, I know the Snowspeeder aftermarket's closer to like 300 bucks now, but I don't know, what would you say, like 200 versus 100 seems like 
it would be about right? I don't know. Then here's the vamp. Next to your average scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, clutch, yeah. Your vehicle's all green. Just like me. Think I can take it first? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly had a great time playing with this figure set, and I'm really happy with this vamp. And the clutch figure, it makes me happy too. I'm pretty stoked about this. If you liked this video, I hope you did, uh, please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Should have the Crimson Dynamo review up tomorrow. And this set is a lot of fun. I do feel like it's a little on the high side when I compare it to the Bratz car or the Batmobile, but then when I compare it to the His Tank, I feel like it's a hell of a deal. It's kind of weird. So this is a G.I. Joe classified item, and I am, you know, when I compare it to another G.I. Joe classified vehicle, it, it's like, okay, yeah, it, it feels like a pretty good deal, but when I compare it to vehicles from other lines that, you know, those products, the, the Batmobile and that Bratz car, they just don't have anywhere near the same amount of detail that this does. So I, I get it, and I do feel satisfied. You know, if I was to compare this to something that wasn't a G.I. Joe classified figure, it kind of reminds me a little bit more of something like a Star Wars 3 3 quarter inch vehicle. And when I think of that, I, I think it's still a little on the high side. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you know, like Boba Fett's... Slave 1, I guess it's kind of small even compared to that. So I do feel like it's a little much, to be honest with you. I am happy with it, though. So, again, it's kind of like paying for Disneyland tickets where it's like, yeah, man, it's not cheap, but you had fun, didn't you? And that's how I feel about this. So at the price point of about 100 bucks, I'm going to give this Vamp and Clutch set a sud rating of... I love it! At the end of the day, I am very happy. I am very happy, but I do think it's kind of a lot, and I want to know what you guys think. So please, let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at ToyNewsEye.com, and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and on TikTok, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. The actual rear... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.